Baltimore County, Maryland, this shocking video of a man literally trying to stone a kitten to death, hiding underneath that car, happening back in May. The guy you see right there, 37-year-old Joseph Alunwa, who told police he was just trying to get Grace and the indoor kitty, who somehow got out of the house, away from his car. Cops, not buying it. They arrested Alunwa, and then the judge let him go. No bail, no warrant on his next court date. Thing is, Alunwa has been charged with simple neglect, a misdemeanor, and not felony animal cruelty. That's even with the officer saying in the report, it's clear Alunwa injured Grayson in a, quote, malicious way. And now more outcry. The judicial response doesn't match the crime. That's what animal advocates are saying. The cat's guardian telling in defense of animals and animal victory, quote, a misdemeanor is a slap in the face to us after all Grayson, my daughter, and our family is going through. Continuing on to say Grayson's attacker has shown no remorse. I I pray to God that the prosecutor takes heed of the petition and 15,000 emails sent by the public and prosecutes the maximum sentence instead of giving him a smack on the hand. Anyone who hurts an animal should face severe consequences, end quote. So Alunwa has paid nothing so far while the medical bills for Grayson are mounting. One estimate, over $12,000. Grayson has permanent injuries, now blind, a busted jaw, his face disfigured, and the list goes on. Now, all eyes on Baltimore County, Maryland District Attorney Scott Schellenberger. The number you see right there, the email is there as as well. Now we want justice for Grayson. Of course, there are two petitions running right now. One is from Animal Victory. The other is from In Defense of Animals. Let's get justice for Grayson.